Welcome to the Soul Full Podcast. I am your host, Megan Harmony, a champion at overcoming the tough stuff and enjoying life while rising above it. Soulful living means getting to a place of ease and comfort, no matter what's happening around you. It is waking up excited about what adventures you will go on. It's connecting to the power within you as your source of strength, grace, and security. It's being uncomfortable during growth spurts and leaning into the stretch. Each week, I will share with you about my journey and the experiences I have had. I'll offer you hope and inspiration that it is possible to live a full life even when the you-know-what is hitting the fan. I believe that love is a language we can all understand, and I want to inspire you to trust and believe in yourself. Your soul is hungry for more. Lean in to get soul full. Good day, beloved, and welcome to this week's episode. I'm so filled with gratitude as I'm recording this on International Women's Day. What an incredible day. What an incredible way to celebrate so much that women have been through and the courage of so many women in today's world to stand up for themselves and to do what they need to do each and every day to feel good. The posts today have been amazing to see. The energy in in the universe and in the cosmos has just been so wonderful. And so in honor of that, I'm doing a special guided invocation declaration meditation. Um, my mentor took me through this process a while ago. Her name is Sam, Sam Bishop. And I just feel honored that she's allowed me to share this with you and hopefully it will support you. I also want to give a huge thank you to those of you that reached out to me on Tuesday to wish me a happy 10 years. As you know, I dropped a bonus episode this week because of that, but um, it's taken a lot of work to end up with 10 years sober, and I wouldn't trade any of that work for another day drinking or getting high. But it means the world to me, those of you that did reach out and let me know you noticed Mm -hmm. and you're grateful that I shared my story in the Great Canadian Woman book and just different things like that. So thank you so much. Um, With that being mentioned, if any of you are interested in copies of that book, I do have them for sale right now for $20 Canadian plus shipping. And I'm quite excited to get you your copy because it's literally changing the world. And also this coming Saturday, March 14th, I will be at a book signing with three of the other authors in Toronto. So watch social media for details of that coming out. And um, other than that, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing week. I do apologize. My brain got a little fogged there. My daughter walked in the room and she's not supposed to be here. She's supposed to be asleep. So I'm going to pause for one minute so that the meditation is from the right Um, mind space and I'll be back soon guys one second okay I'm back which is probably good because it gave me a chance to recenter and refocus to lead you into this invocation so I want you to either get up on your feet and just kind of start swaying back and forth or get really comfortable and relaxed whichever works best for you and we're going to take a deep breath in right into our heart space. That area right in the center of our chest, we're just gonna breathe into there the golden light energy of the cosmos and God and the universe. And we're gonna exhale with a big (sighs) And another deep, 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 deep breath into that area. Now I want you to breathe in to your womb space. That area just around your hips and your pelvis, just breathe into that life force area. And I want you to envision the energy from this space being completely healed of any past traumas, 
of any past letdowns, of any past relationships that may be lingering, of anything that's been carried with you for far too long. We're going to let that go now. Just breathe in. And on the exhale, release. Release everything that may be stuck. Let's get that energy flowing. And if you need to move your legs, move your legs at this time. Just kind of um, bounce up and down a bit just to kind of shake things up. Get rid of any stagnant energy that's no longer serving you. We give that back to the universe to transmute back to love. We're going to take another big, deep breath in there. And I want you to take your hands and place them over top of your, your womb space. Almost in kind of like a heart shape, but almost more like a diamond. Thumbs together, hands together, diamond shape over your womb. And just kind of take one of those hands and rub your womb space. Make it just feel the love. And watch its energy expand around you. This energy is love. It's pure love and passion and sensuality for yourself. And I know that might be hard to feel in this moment, but just know that it exists within you. Even if you can't feel it, just know. Know that you are being surrounded with all powerful love. And it's like, it's like you're swimming in a big pool of love surrounding you all the way out, out, out into the universe. And now I want you to envision your mother, whether you have a good relationship with your mother or you had a terrible relationship with your mother, whether there's good history or bad history, I just want you to see her face right now. None of the feelings associated, just her face. And I want you to say to her, I love you, mom. I love you, mom, with no expectation of her saying it back. And just allow this womb space energy to call her in and, and imagine all the things that she went through to get you to the place you are today and the love that she had for you. Even if your mother was an absent mother growing up or she maybe put you up for adoption, she still had love for you and was hopefully trying to do the best for you. So let's just bring that love in there. And then let's think of her mother and her mother's mother and go back as many generations as you can go envisioning all these women who have been supporting you all this time. Every step you take, every breath you take, these women are saying, we love you. We encourage you. We're here for you. And in this moment, we're going to bring them all into this womb space that you're swimming in, all that love energy, pure, unconditional love. And they are with you. Everyone on your mother's side is with you in this space. And it's more and more love, more and more love. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you just feel that. You feel that love. Sway in that love. Swim in that love. Do whatever you need to do to feel okay. Just feel this love encompassing you right now right at the core of your soul, the core of your being, this love is just surrounding you. And now I want you to envision your father's mother and her mother and the aunts of that family and the sisters and the everyone on your dad's side, all those women and the hardships they had to go through for you to be here today, a free woman, able to walk in your truth, to stand in your light, without fear of persecution, without fear of being burned at the stake. You can just be who you are, believe what you want to believe without hesitation. The only one that puts hesitation on us is ourselves. We limit ourselves. These loving women from our past who are all here in this space with us right now are sh saying to us, I love you. I believe in you. I support you. I am here for you. We need only call on them for their strength and their courage and their wisdom and everything that they endured and overcame. In this moment, we ask the universe to release anything from their lives that has been passed down to us generationally that is no longer serving us, any fears or limiting beliefs that they carried due to some of those hardships, we're just going to let that go now. That no longer serves us. It does not need to be here. We are free. It's been transmuted back to the universe with love and all is well. All these women are shining in their light and we're shining in ours. And it's this beautiful, beautiful space that just keeps expanding and expanding and expanding generation after generation behind us. And they're all holding us in circle with so much love and so much energy and so much encouragement.
And we get to just breathe that in. Bring that back into you now. Bring that back into your heart space. Feel that. Feel the love. Feel, feel it all around you. And now I want you to envision your children. If you don't have any children, that's okay. Just imagine nieces, daughters, whomever is young girls of the world that you're encouraging through teaching. Um, if you have daughters, think of them. If you have sons, think of them and the wives they will bring into your life. Think of the generation to come and how much love you have for them and how much love, unconditional love they give back to you. It doesn't matter what you do as a mother or an aunt. They just love you because they're young and sweet and they see your beauty even when you can't see it yourself. And just feel that love and take that into yourself, into your womb space, into your heart space, into your stomach, into all the areas of you that feel not good enough because you are enough. And these children and these women of your past are telling you this. And now I want you to envision your children's children or your niece's children and all the generations that will come many generations ahead. Let's go up to 11 generations of just more and more children that will follow in your legacy and that will grow and expand through the work you're doing in the world today. They will grow to be women that are empowered and strong and just courageous. This is what you do in this world. This is the light you bring to this world. I want you to envision how your loving energy is going to affect their lives and how they're going to feel encouraged and just all that love that they're going to have for you many years from now because of what you're doing right here, right now, and the person that you are being. And, and take that in, take that love in and feel it. You are now surrounded in such a swirling ball of love. I want you just to sway in that feel that. Just take it all in. Take it all in. If you need to put your arms out, stretch, put your arms out, stretch, and just receive. If you have to say, I am open to receive, say, I am open to receive. Let the love in. Just let it pour into you. It's pouring into your heart. It's pouring into your soul. It's giving you the power to speak your truth from your throat chakra. You are surrounded by this love. It is, is golden. It is pink. It is every color you can possibly imagine because love it does not see color. Love is completely blind, but love is absolutely surrounding you. And I want you to take a deep, deep, deep breath in and bring all that love from all those future generations back into you now. Just pull it back in. And you've got all these generations, past and future, supporting you and loving you and telling you, you are enough. You can do this. We believe in you. Take the leap. And I want you right now to just kind of take a jump, just a little jump in the air. Feel that. Feel that it is possible. Know that it is possible. Know that all these people need you to do the things you are here to do and love yourself. So now that you've taken all the love from the past generations forward and all the love from the future generations back, I want you to go into your heart space and say, I love me. And feel some love for yourself. Give yourself a hug if you need to. Wipe the tears if you need to. It's okay to cry. It is perfectly okay to release all those years of not feeling good enough and not taking care of ourselves for the best and all those years of agonizing, critical self-talk. We're letting all that go now. And say something beautiful about yourself. Pick a trait about yourself that you think is really inspiring and encourages you that you are this person that has that smile or has that quirky sense of humor or that is able to be a safe space for people to share. Whatever your thing is, pick that right now. And I just want you to meditate on that while you feel all this love surrounding you. Just give yourself a compliment. And now in this moment, I want you to know that not only are you surrounded by love, but you are love. And I want you to pull in this womb space that we've been swimming in, surrounded by so much unconditional love, unconditional love that knows no bounds, that sees no boundaries, that just loves. And I want you to know that that is you, you are love. You are love. 
You get to be whoever you want to be, whenever you want to be, whatever you want to be. The possibilities are endless. It is time, my dear sisters, it is time for us to stand in our truth. I am a divine human being. I am a creation of a loving creator who needs me on this planet at this time to do the job I was meant to do. And those jobs can vary for each and every one of us. But in this moment, right here, right now, you need to believe in you. So all past thoughts of not good enough, all thoughts about I can't, those are removed. Those no longer exist in our experience. This experience right here, right now, we can do anything. We can be anything. All we need to do is decide. And I want you to make a decision right now of one thing that you are going to do from a loving place for yourself, for yourself, each and every day for the next 30 days. What is one thing that your past loved ones and your future loved ones is going to, are going to thank you for doing right here and right now? I want you to declare that to yourself and to the world out loud right now. What is your one thing you are going to do? Now commit, commit to doing that for yourself for the next 30 days, whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like. If you need encouragement or support, reach out to me. I can be kind of like a um, accountability partner, but let's do this together. Let's make the world a better place by standing in our love and doing something loving for ourselves each day, because those past generations and those future generations of women need us to continue to love ourselves so that women can continue to grow, continue to expand and be the precious gifts to the world that we are so strong, so courageous. You are an epic light of the world and it needs your light. Now take a deep breath in. How does that feel? How do you feel? If you found you had any resistance to this meditation, please reach out to me and let's work you through that because usually when there's resistance, there's some fear or something could be that we've gotten comfortable with a limiting belief that's no longer serving us. And we just need to get that pulled out. So we've, I've did my best throughout this to pull out any limiting beliefs that might be stuck with you that are not allowing you to stand in your essence of who you are. But just know in this moment that you are beautiful, that you are strong, that you are capable, that you are worthy, that everything you desire can be yours when you decide you're deserving and worthy. Thank you for allowing me into your space today. Thank you for celebrating International Women's Day in such a powerful way with me. And in a few seconds, I will be sharing card readings for you guys as per usual. I would love to see you in the Souls Unleashed Facebook group. If you're interested in joining us there, please find me and have a fabulous week, you guys. Until we meet again, lean in to get soulful. Thank you for meeting me soul to soul today on the Soulful Podcast. If this episode connected with you and you feel called to, please share it with your friends and family so they can feel the love as well. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe on your podcast player so you get notified when new episodes drop. Please leave a rating and comment so I know what's touching your soul the most and can bring you more of what you long for. If you have suggestions for topics or would like me to speak at your event, please connect with me at S-O-U-L-F-U-L-L-S-O-B-R-I-E-T-Y at gmail.com. Thank you for your love and support in helping me connect with more souls to remind them they are divine, capable, and loved. You're the best. Go out looking at the world through the lens of love.